Hello there. <clears throat> Hello. Well, as we said, uh, last time we pretty much filled out the entire grid, got everything done, showed how that all works, and now we're going to do the longer but much easier part of just writing out the clues. Uh, everything should be ready, everything should be set up as I need, so let's head over to the design lab. There we go. Alright, uh, I've changed the information we have on the scratch pad. Uh, the chat window should be active. Let's just give it a chest. Uh -huh. Same as always. And let's turn on the clue guidelines. Take off the privacy barrier. And say hello to my mouse. My mouse cursor at least. Say hello to my cat who is being incredibly needy of attention. And let's open up some stuff. So, this is the grid that we made last time. Hopefully you remember most of it. And now we're going to write the clues. And I'll be honest, this is kind of the least interesting part of it. Like, I mean, it's interesting, but not, eh. Yeah, you know. Anyway. So. Obviously, again, pretty much the whole process is go to the, move the screen where the clues are edited. Review edit clues. And now we have a whole list of all the words in the grid. We're going to need to write something for every last one of these. And then it will be done. All right, so I mean, again, this is pretty much just the part where, I mean, you want to just fact check yourself as you go, but otherwise you're free to do whatever. And again, so obviously you have some more leeway with some than others. So for pert, you want to do like pert and perky or pert shampoo or whatever you want. Auto can be a name, it can be eight in Italian, your options are, again, it's whatever you think of. And I think Owen, I think Owen Wilson for whatever reason. So I'll probably write something about Wilson who was in Zoolander or something like that. South, Southeast, just look at a map of the U.S. and pick two cities that connect to each other. And again, like some are a little more fixed. Like Ernst is German, Data ist Max in reference to Max Ernst. Uh, hmm. And again, like I know like the Edo is a period of Jap Japan, but would it be fair to consider that an analog to medieval times? And if I wrote medieval Japan era of some sort. All right, so again, if you want to go back and just kind of see what how other people have exactly been phrasing stuff, there are databases and things you can use. Obviously, don't just rip the whole thing off. Okay, so a lot of them are using the fact that it's specifically referring to Tokyo's old name rather than the actual period of time. Hmm. hmm. Again. Again, like Tokugawa Shogun's. You know, and again, we can do them in any order we want. We can come back to stuff. Hmm. So, like, for Skybox. It's like you could do, like, the Skybox of a video game, but that's probably a little absurd. So, Skybox we'd probably do in terms of just, like, good seats at a baseball game or something. Skybox seats... Mm-hmm. Yeah. And again, just, just double-checking to make sure that your points of reference are accurate, are completely accurate. So, Skybox. Choice seating at baseball games. Wilson. Who starred in... Italics, 
Coolander. Again, so like again, if, if you wanted to give a point of reference, like video game equivalent of blank, and again, it's kind of like the average. I mean, like saying Comic Con, it's kind of quasi redundant. Comparing it to Con would be mm, iffy. Yeah, anyway, we can just kind of run through everything. Usually, I just kind of start moving stuff top down. You know, free energy is. Right, so again, that's the specific definition of free energy, Wikipedia, big surprise. All right, so let's see, the actual measurements, the mechanic stuff, and of course the idea of perpetual motion. Again, so like why perpetual, mo it's like why perpetual motion machines, or what, mo what, what's missing from perpetual motion machines? Or what would make perpetual motion machines actually work? Yeah. And again, some are going to be more boring than others. Like, oh no, it's a bone. DC. Again, like, and again, other things like ACDC being kind of an acronym. Sort of. I would say, like, I would, like, again, like, uh, rockers who pinned TNT. I mean, you can, I don't know. Mm. Again, this is, uh, this is really the, uh, kind of the most sluggish, kind of. I mean, again. Uh, yeah, electrifying Aussie rockers. Again, if you like, if you don't expect them to be able to know TNT, sure, then that's a decent pun. Electrifying Aussie rockers. And then include who gave us TNT. And in the meantime, let me actually just start music rather than just nothing but the sound of my voice. Ah, uh, much better. Well, see, again, if you want to just leave electrifying Aussie rockers, you kind of run into the thing where you're supposed to include an acronym or some sort of indicator that something is shorter. Look, if you're using this as ASMR, then you're not going to do any better than Boards of Canada. All right. I'm not like playing anything loud. Just relax. Relax. All right. Let's see. Not uh eight days. And again, like, I have a thing where I, like, try to make the, the the blank in a blank about as long as the right thing. And you don't want to do too many blanks. Maybe, like, one or two per section. So, like, maybe one or two in the acrosses and one or two in the downs. Otherwise, you're really starting to push it. But again, spring and kind of, like, sprinkle them out if you can. So, A space W-E-E-K. Beatles. Hmm. Oats. Steel cut. Breakfast choice. Hmm. You know, like thinking about quiz. So, 
one fifty second of a year, the the clue that you'd be in pull that you'd want that you'd give in response to that would probably just be weak without the without the article. So this kind of goes back into the rule from the first episode where you can have partial phrases, but they have to stop at five letters. I can kind of just pull that back up real quick. So a week is okay. Well, you should have watched the first episode. The archive went up a bunch of while, went up a while ago and I included it. So whose fault is that? It's yours. But anyway, if you look and see the rest of the notes, All right, so it's going to be like that, is it? Fine. Anyway, if you look at the guidelines for the actual filling of the grid, partial phrases are okay up to five letters long. So, for example, yes, we is part of yes, we can. Not a problem. No pain, no getting out there. Like, you wouldn't want to cut off the phrase, no pain, no gain. You'd want to do the whole thing. So... And again, normally you don't include the article in an answer. So we're using it as a truncated phrase, not just the concept of a week. So in that way, we're kind of stuck to using it as part of something. Or like again, we could, we could, if we didn't want to use the Beatles, we could have it in quotes and say, open seven days blank. Because then they would think, oh, open seven days a week. You know what, just because we already have a, a musical clue, we could do that. Open seven days. I love you too. Anyway, okay. Big corn. I'm trying to think of... Like, are you just saying that to say that, or is that supposed to match up to something? So let me see what that would make any sense of. Uh, like corn, like a bunion. Okay, great, thanks. This is this is in, this is this is incredible. You really helped me out here. All right. Uh, again, so like some of these I thought of in advance because, again, if you're basing everything around your main theme clues, you'll be more familiar with them. So, uh, common text next to textbook figures. Big corn. No. Big corn. Big corn. Big corn is egg. Some are kind of constrained, so mouse sighting shriek. No, I don't want to do shriek. Mouse sighting cry. Like rhyming with the answer, not great. Rhyming within the clue, they like that. Hmm. All right, Petey. Again, I just want to double check, like PD scotches. Yeah, PD scotch brands. Mm. Like some batches of scotch. Mm. 
again, we could do the bar. We could do the banded Barbie girl. We could do the color. And again, again like, the thing is, like, you want to try to spread everything out because otherwise, and again, if I were to submit this to somebody professionally, see again, like, the things we know and the things that we know and understand as reference points are not what most solvers, I guess, know. And I learned this the hard way when I did a puzzle that was nothing but, like, very obvious Steely Dan song titles. And they said, no, that's too obscure. And I'm like, what? Like, the, the whole trick was you change one letter of a Steely Dan song and get a different phrase, and that'd be, like, the wordplay thing. Like, Dirty Work became Dirty Cork. And it's like, a song about an overused message bulletin board? Question mark? And then I think I fit in, I like fit like five of those in, and then I had a room in like the really tiny corners for uh, Asia became AHA, and I think Peg I turned into, oh yeah, I turned that into P, like the vegetable. But he was like, nah, that, that won't fly, no one would want that one. I'm like, you sure? Yeah. I pitched a whole bunch of other ones to him, and then the one he expressed interest in was probably the one that... I would kind of tossed off the most readily, which was, well, he didn't take that one either, but like the general gist is, now, again, I'm debating about saying this one just because if I sell it somewhere, I'll have to, hmm, hmm, and again, I like depending on how seriously like if we really wanted to if this was just for us then it would be perfectly fine to do cartoon heroes and barbie girl band or they were the or just saying they were the cartoon heroes uh, all right so the, the other let me just turn on the privacy banner before i click what tweet you're referencing oh okay yeah so yeah that's kind of the thing of course, it's freaking out. There we go. Finally remembering the time Will Shorts rejected the puzzle of mine because it had the full name, it had the full names Akira Kurosara and Vito Corleone in it. Two nobodies, clearly. Well, the good news about that is that he's no longer the only one in the driver's seat. There's a younger guy that he has on with him, and they kind of say, as long as either Will Shorts or the younger guy, I think his name is Joe, is there, as long as either of them recognize it, then it's fine. But... And this is the, like the person who I'm talking about who rejected the Steely Dan puzzle. That wasn't Will Shorts. He didn't even get a chance to see it yet. I'm still hanging out on that. I'm talking about somebody else that I was in contact with. Privacy filter off. Again, it's like I, you don't need to see my bookmarks. Those are from me. So, like, again, like, something for, like, Dante, like, again, you could say, you could be boring and just say character was, character from Inferno, or Virgil was his tour guide. Well, too bad. And again, like, I'm, obviously, this is not my main browser. Here, look, there are my bookmarks. Uh, one look, new traumatic, a clue database. There, you've seen my bookmarks. So let's see. So for example, like half of hell's tourism industry would be kind of stupid, but funny enough. Hmm. You know, like some do some some puzzles. If it's somebody, it's like a two-word phrase will indicate it, and for others, it's not a big deal. You can just say like, hmm. Like, ease in would be kind of just, uh, like, putting it, giving a synonym for ease in is easy, but you don't want to use something else that would include in and all the word in also, or into. So, settle into, bad, because you don't want in and into. It's not a complete rule breaker, but it's not pretty. It's not good. Uh, let's see. Hmm. 
Genre four. No doubt. And another band that somebody would have any reason to remember that wasn't really paying any attention to music. Mm. Right, so again, again I, usually when I think of Dade, I think of Miami Dade County. But I don't know if it's specifically always called that with the hyphen. Or if it's yeah, it's Dade County, Florida. Aha, see? You don't want to say Dade County. Unless you were referring to it by itself. Hmm. Shares title of county with Miami. Hang on. What's the main character? Hmm. Was it? No. I thought it was Zero Crash. Or, like, something like Zero something or other. Because I know he had, like, two names before. Like, the kid, he had the kid name. Oh, right. His Meat Space name. Eh, again. That's, like, really getting obscure. Yeah, again, like, Mountain Range. And the Urals, I think, are... Again, you always want to be absolutely sure exactly where everything is. The Ural Mountains. And Western Russia, again. I was like, I knew they were Russian, but I was trying to think of what part of Russia. So, Russian mountain range. Hmm. Blooper. Let's double check what it'll I'm pretty sure it's a Civil War rifle. Lee Enfield. Bold action magazine fan. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so it was a little so it was British Army standard rifle then, but hmm. Alright, see? I was wrong. And that's why you always check everything. Oh, I think oh that's right, it was a world it was more of a World War One rifle, I guess. Like World War One rifle make. British bolt action rifle circa World War One. Well, they probably again, it's worse than being put to death. They probably get a bunch of annoying letters. Again, that's also what editors are for. So if it went past me, and then the editor also left it there. Well, it'd be their problem at that point. So let's see, a stir, and awake, wakeful. Okay, so again, and again, like, if you open it in the program, and it's a really boring word that you don't really have anything fun you can do with, you can kind of just look at some that are in, in the programs database. So, in motion... Up and about. Yeah. Up and at him. Yeah. Yeah, we could change it later if we want. I mean, I mean, this whole thing is cheating. Again, if you'd watched episode one, we didn't hand set all of these. Like, what we did was we put down the main clues kind of in a decent place that we thought we could set everything else up. Then we put the blocks in, and then we auto-filled. Alright, again, like, just for demonstration purposes, 
Just remember, we let we have Lou, Ides, and Pert. And this is good because none of them are going to be need to be recapitalized. Words. Autofill. Look at all these wonderful options we have to choose from. What should we pick? This is the professional. This is how the professionals do it. And believe me, there's, again, everything that we put into the grid was hand-selected. Dude, if they don't know what characters are, no one's going to know serial experiments like. We're trying to do, we're, again, we're trying to keep this sort of plausible for an editor. Like, they would, again, if they would really love the puzzle, they would go back and just literally just change this area themselves. But we're not going through that. Hmm. NY, NY. Quick. Manhattan mailing address. Or part of Manhattan mailing address. Briefly. Hmm. Sign. Obviously sign wave, but what else would we want to do about that? Well, let's see. We did, we did that. We did, we did free energy C example in the infield. Uh, big yearly video game events. And this. And the key to this puzzle's theme place. You said a. You said a loo clue? Oh, put the death was your thing for a loo clue. Hmm. Again, it would help if you n said what word you're putting it for. This whole process is cheating, so you're going to have to get over that. All right, so let's look at a map. Let's look at a map of the United States and pick two cities that we want to compare in a south southeasterly direction. Mm. Google Maps is going to have too much information. There we go. That looks good. Open up. Okay, let's see. So mostly south, but trending slightly east. We could do Bismarck to Pierre. I mean, again, there's a little bit of implied uh, curvature to the map, but mm. Nashville to Montgomery, eh. Lansing to Frankfurt. Ooh. Oh, okay. Or again, we're I'm only, again, those are the capitals. Uh let's see. We could do Detroit to Columbus. That's okay. So funny thing about the selfie thing. Eh. Again, like actually giving compass degrees numerically would be unusual, I think. And the only time, see, that's their that's their idea of a good clue 
for including numerical. It's just giving you the literal opposite direction. Atlanta to Miami, Atlanta to Tampa, Flagstaff to Tucson. Da -da 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 -da. Like if you wanted to be tricky, you could name you could find two cities that are like again, like it was like Venice, California to Naples or something. Yeah, and again, that's the other thing. Unless it's super obvious, it's hard to do. But again, you also know that you only have a certain number of options and your or letters you're going to end up using. So if, even if you already have one letter and it's three long, like if I have the first one is south, it's either going to be south, southeast, or south, southwest. So they're pretty much self-narrowing. Dang. And again, some are like super vague. It's like, oh, a, a direction the wind could go in. And again, if you notice, they all have D-I-R dot because they're, that's how, again, that's part of the conventional way to indicate that you are using an acronym. Pilot heading. See? The competition isn't quite as fierce as you might think as far as being clever. Egg. It's incredible. And edible. See? Fun. Bird to be. Grade A item. Salad ingredient. Is Sweeps Week in fall? Oh, there is, okay, there is a Fall Sweeps Week. Okay. Okay, so we could just say, like, September, like, the, whatever the fall sweeps week in September. So let's see. Each year, da 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 Here we go, sweeps periods. February. Okay, so, like, October to November. All right, so November sweeps, so... Subject of November sweeps weeks. Of November, and we can include like Nielsen. Nielsen's November sweeps. Yeah, and again, make sure that it's proper reference. They're not capitalized or considered a proper noun. Hmm. The cure could be poison with different dosage. Poison at a different dosage. EST. You can make a Yuri Geller joke. But then you got to figure out kind of how to clue the ad in the abbreviation. And again, if you're if you're really stuck and can't work an abbreviation in, you can always just do parentheses a b b r. But again, the, again, there's a lot of there's a lot of dick waving to the process of trying to be more elegant than the next guy. And again, you want to you want to you want to have something that looks good. So again, like Sicilian smoker, spewer, spouter. I love alliterations. Love them. Again, I wouldn't want to copy this because chances are I didn't would not have come up with Vulcan's chimney on my own. 
Again, towers over Tower Mina. Okay. You get the idea. Open up. Okay, we can see how we're doing. Because we got stats. Drag this over to the part of the screen that we're showing. All right, 55 to go. And then we can also hit the check mark button and it'll show us. Oh, all these boxes still have one. So Dante is done. And we took care of everything else that was going across. So that one's fine. You get the idea. Yeah, big surprise. Uh, let's see. Green Gables Girl. Probably an old one, but... But again, that's the other thing. Again, that's another thing I'll check. Like, Is it A-N-N of Green Gables or A-N-N-E? Aha! See? That's why it wouldn't work. That's why you check. Hmm. I'll come back to it. I mean, usually if I'm doing this by myself and more or less silence, I'm just kind of jumping down. Deadly Sin. Again. Leaving some ambiguity kind of helps with it. So, for example, Four letter dead, like maybe Envy is going to go there later. They're not sure, and they'll figure it out after. Ah, oh, but of course, there's also a deadly sin or. Hmm. Lear, Ogle. Blank Wiz. Crack of Dawn. And again, like five, like a five a.m. sunrise would be kind of around now. Mm. No, it's kind of more a summer thing. Manhattan, Kansas. That's what I meant. Five AM sunrise. No. Crack of Dawn in summer. Under eat. Go hungry. Like in compare. Muting. Again, so if you have like a pun in mind, you can do, again, like, pun, like a question mark is usually the indicator for a pun. So if I do sounding off for muting, ha 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 ha, get it. Hmm. And again, like, you don't want to get controversial, so keeping my opinion again it's always tempting to say like stank oil salesman stupid idiot with bad taste who sucks but you don't want to do that high profile tesla devotee 
It's like, are they thinking, hmm, did they mean the Tesla Tesla company or Nikola Tesla? So, eh. Oh, that's right. That's what I wanted to do for ease in. Uh, enter slowly. Like a jacuzzi. And, you know. General quality of life stuff like a spell checker. And it's fine. Nielsen, proper noun, doesn't know. Doesn't. There you go. And, like, Lou. We might do in blank of. See what I'm, yeah, see. Somebody used it as part of a clue somewhere. Oh. Don't touch it. Or don't touch that. Dial. Then you like auto. You could do a math question in Italian. You could do the Simpsons bus driver. Plenty of options. Bismarck. Yeah, the dog from Beetle Bailey. People who do crosswords are old. It's just what it is. All the kids are dabbing and doing Fortnite. Oh yeah, Auto Clipperer, of course. How could you? See, like one of the like one of the Ringling Brothers. That's interesting. I could look up a list of famous people named Auto. Let's look up a list of famous people named Auto. Famous autos. Otto Graham, Bismarck. Holy Roman Emperor. See, again, there's something that they call the Sunday breakfast test, which is, you know, keep things light and airy and fit for, fit for being amused. Don't include the Nazi guy. Leave him out. Unfortunately, since Otto is a very German name, you kind of run into it with this. Love deals. It seemed familiar for a second. I get the idea. Let's just do Simpsons bus driver. Eh, Bart's bus driver. Bart Simpsons bus driver. School bus driver. Surroundings. Hmm. Lively, sprightly. Oh, skip it. Side of combat. Maybe. You know, a little, a little ambiguity is okay. Now, see, combat zone. It's fine. Oh well, no. You know. Elbow wrist connection. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, make a joke about the radius. I come back to it. 
you can always come back to it. You're going to have to come back to it eventually. Uh, pull down. Burn. And a 10, I think, was the root for the word. Yeah, Egyptian solar deity. Rate uh, ten, A space 10? No. Egyptian solar deity. So Egyptian sun god would be fine. But again, you don't want to get them too confused with, like, Ra or something, so... Egyptian god. Right. All right, so Aten is the sun itself. And an aspect of Ra. That's fine. Phantasms, poltergeists, spiritual phenomena. I think, do we, are we thinking of phantasm as a ghost, or are we going to use something more strict to the definition of a phantasm? All right, a ghostly figure, apparition, specter. Any incorporeal supernatural being that can become visible or audible to human beings. Okay, so again, one of the other things you can do is if you have two clues that relate to each other, you can use that to kind of fill things in. So, for example, if I said for 59 across, well, how about C5 down? And then 5 down, we'll do. Spirits seen by those with 59 across. Aha. Two for one. Aerates, blows bubbles through, or you'd want to do like, puts through carbonation. Yeah. Carbonates puts through a soda stream because soda streams are topical I guess modern you know it's kind of the, it's kind of the I'm hip I'm with it he's cool he's old he's 45 thing again and then again if you look at the samples you have a lot of options so like nine like almost all of them are about water and blue green colors but you have one person who referred to them as the, the band that did Barbie Girl. Depends on your audience. Every again, the whole thing just depends on your audience. Flip, mm, comedian Wilson, flipping properties. Blase behavior, being flippant. See? Yeah. I install quickly. Hmm. Leech. Eh. Sucked out. Came up. Now, Ducal again, I'm trying to think how to refer to a Duke or picking a Duke to refer to. Dukes. Famous Dukes of Hazard. No. 
name Duke. List of Dukes in the peerages. Say uh, of of Prince Anne, like again, like of Prince Harry's responsibilities to Sussex, maybe. Or like like obligations. Sussex retool hmm mm. so like modern day portrait but then it's a self portrait but you then you're using the word self which stupid no bad Always save your work repeatedly. Twenty four Tron. No, oh, it's probably going to be in reference to the movie, so. Positron, neutron, but we don't want to do suffixes if we can avoid it. Well, Jeff Bridges was in both trons, right? Yeah, Jeff Bridges is the programmer. And then in Legacy, he was... Yeah, he didn't write. Yeah. High tech. Movie franchise. Starring Jeff Bridges. Genre for no doubt and mighty mighty box tops. I mean, you can go back and like say the specials or something, but you want again. I'm sure more people will think of third wave bands than they will actual ska. Like using Jimmy Cliff, no one's gonna know it. Mm. Lemon. You know, busted up car. You know, I drive a beater. I drive a lemon. Mm. Lemon? Oh, yeah, like a lemon is already a dud. Let's actually make a lemon. Eh, yeah, lemon's okay. Lemon question mark. Hmm. Oh, again, like mast. I'm probably thinking of the central pole of the ship, and I'm thinking of an interesting way to refer to the central pole of the ship. I 
item. You know, like again, I'm thinking either like an item like teal dating or like ten items or less. See what other people said. Big an item, couple. Let's go and blank out. March date to be wary of. Now let's take, take a quick break and make sure that we haven't accidentally used any of the words. Because again, as you can see, you're not supposed to use any of the answer words in any of the clues. Obviously, you don't want to use it in its own clue because that's pointless. But you don't want to use it anywhere else either. Because again, if they're reading the words of the clues, it's almost like half giving it away. And the program will help check that for you. Isn't that nice? How are we doing? No, oh, twenty nine to go. Or past halfway. Psst. All right. Let's see. Let's do the bottom. Let's go down here. Uh, prefix for the magic number. Rejoinder to Moko. Spat like mm, a tiff. Spat like a spatter shoes. Everybody else went that. Spats shoes. There we go. Mud flap for a shoe. Essentially. Emergency sign. Coffee receptacles. Capitol Hill Gopher. Again, they don't they don't all have to impress impress. Summer can be pretty can be more or less totally functional. All right, so this corner up here, we still haven't really gotten to a lot. Aqua cult diamonds are, and also ACDC quiz. All well, really, it's just it's just those going down. Once we clear those out, they should be freed. Uh, let's see. Aqua. Mm. Teal? Hang on, 
let's see. What's teal versus aqua? Versus cyan. Mm. Oh, teal's really dark. Let's go with that one. Let's go by this one. No, I will not click full resolution. Teal, yeah, teal is much darker, so we wouldn't want to compare it to teal. Hmm. Color, good for pool lining. Heaven's Gate EG. Might be taken with a stick. Take back to the drawing board. Mm, pass. Right. The idea of the, the enacting of the bill. Nicholas the second was the last one. I'm pretty sure it was. Yes. All right. eh, we could do Nikolai. It could be proper about it. Nikolaius. No. Or we could do like Alexandrovist Dynasty. Oh, yeah, Alexandrovich leader. Yeah, Alexander, yeah, nah, nah, nah. Winter Palace resident, you see. Q in. Give the go ahead. like a news item like piece of news mm. see this one they're being all clever yes sign is the fra fraction inverse of a cosecant Uh, well, uh, but we'll we'll keep it mathematical. We'll do its opposite over hypotenuse, and then we make sure we actually spell it correctly. We really make sure we spell it correctly. We did. Nielsen, Zoolander, Nikolai the Second, Marco, Boston's. Does another name Jeff? Okay. Alma, phone connected to the let's see. The Alma is connected to which bone specifically? From the elbow to the smallest finger to the funny bone. Arm bone connected to the funny bone. Hmm. Cape Ann, Ann Arbor, Michigan, Deer Ann, 
Raggedy Ann. Famous hands. And again, that's the thing. Is like they're, they also get mixed up with A N N E, which you don't want. As a feminine name, just the ends, please. Let's see, Bancroft, maybe. Yes, see, but again, it's on Wikipedia, doesn't mean that the crossword solvers are going to know it. I'll come back to it. Let's see. When was the last time Edna erupted? When was the last eruption of Mount Edna? I'm going to say active European volcano. Recent eruptions. Active European volcano. Don't want to get too crazy. Yeah, if you want to be nice, you could say Italian, but they're probably going to get it now with that information anyway. Getting there. Fools, I think, are young horses, but I don't know if it's a male or female. I mean, there's the band, but again, if Steely Dan songs are too much, I don't think I'm gonna ex they're going to expect to know the band falls. It went up to one year old, up to one year old, mainly for horses, but it's not a gender term. Horse that's not yet a yearling. Horses that are not yet yearling. And the other thing, you have to match you have to match plural and tense and all those things. Horses that aren't yet yearlings. He's on the earth. Because again, obviously there's a lot more than seven. But how about we do, how about we go to the moon instead? Lunar seas. Tranquility, I know.
tranquility. Tranquility, cleverness. That's right. Nah. I'm thinking like I'm thinking like a like a pop the question joke versus pop quizzes. Eh. Quiz and mast part. Around this part, I like to just have them all in front of me rather than have to scroll up and down. So, quiz and mast part. Sofa, south, southeast. So that should put us at 11. I just programming the music. Don't want to start an entire complete album since we're pretty close to done. But we could fit another EP's worth of listening in, probably. Oh. I think I could just make quiz question. Anyway, it's a little tricky because we're playing with the verb form, but you know.
it might eat the remote. And it's a little a little better than the change. A little more clear, I guess, if you want it to, if you want it to be clear. Let's see. Let's pick some good cities. We could do San Francisco to San Jose. That'd work. Eh, I like that. of the journey. Hmm. Chow down. Ratify, maybe? And the ratification, I think, is... You always want to be very exact with your terminology. So the pa yeah, the ratification is the passing. We've been pretty good about not going into too many brands, so let's make this shampoo brand. Hmm. The Edo period. Well, specifically, yeah. Specifically, it was. Japan's Shogun period. Now we're down to two. Three. I didn't know her real name was Happy Letterer. Happy Letterer's advice column pen name. Enemy is an ass and adjective is interesting. Mm. K. 
counter force, maybe. Interesting. Yeah, counter force. Facts about masts. Sail strut. I get the idea across, I think. And then we're done, pretty much. Yeah, change it. Because again, it's a say, it's a figure of speech. And it's usually the space. Okay. That's given. It's given. It's given. It's given. It's Cisco. I spelled right. San Francisco, right? Right. Right. And then like Cisco. Yeah. That's fine. There is fine. Psycho by. Second, Marco. Yeah, we're good. All right. I mean, that's it. Not really much else to it. And we save it. And then again, if we really wanted to get into the whole real process, in addition to the actual specs, they have a very specific way that if you wanted to send it into the Times, that they want you to format what you've mailed them. And they want everything specifically with paper mail. Obviously, that helps cut down on the number of submissions they have to go through. So you can't really blame them. Uh, I think the I think the lag time was measured about four months, and that's what it took me to get my first uh, rejection. I sent them two puzzles when I had two puzzles, and now I'm sitting on like two dozen. So uh, after I hear back from the editor, who I can get a response from much more quickly. Uh, they're going to be getting a very large amount of mail. I should probably ask somebody if what, like, what's the upper limit of this is absur an, an absurd number to send somebody at the same time? Because you know, like, send somebody one or two in the same envelope. Eh, you know, they're shopping them around. Send somebody twenty. I don't know that that can be a little sus. But yeah, I mean, we're we're done. That's it. I don't know why, but this has gone, like, much, much smoother than usual. Maybe it's because, like, usually when I think of a theme, I end up with a lot of different words I could use, and I start having to, like, go back and forth between, do I want to use this one? Do I want to use this one? This one really didn't have much of a choice. We had the, we had the words that aren't really many other good phrases with three E's in a row. The most I think we did is we switched the locations of two of them when we were making it. But between the V, knowing exactly what words you're going to use and having those fixed lengths, kind of wasn't much else to do. You know, we picked it and we made a decent grid for it that let us kind of pinch off those extra zones. Oh goodness yeah and we can see what the export options are rich text plain text PDF is picture not a file I don't know what that is PDF image XML sheet 
write to a PUS file for your Crosslight users, and more. I think I formatted these exactly to match what they wanted. So, like, I had a P, like I had a PDF output of exactly how they want the clues, and then I think a PDF output of exactly how they want the puzzle, and then I just concatenate the two, or just print them out separately and then mail them out. Again, if you if you really want to just bootleg yourself, the data is not that intensive. Oh look. It's the puzzle. It's so a plain text. Let's do the puzzle, the solution, the clues, and the answers. See? Whoa. I mean, yeah, they like you to do stuff like, oh, what's the question mark and what's the blank? Don't need it. So again, there's really... No one, not what too much. There isn't too much else to it. Again, I wish it was. I wish we had a little more trouble, just because I usually do. And again, like if you wanted to set something up very particular, you don't have to have the symmetries turned on. I mean, do you have any questions for me? Do you want to know the difference between an American and a British puzzle, if you don't already? Although I'm pretty sure you know already. Save it. It transposes it like we did last time. Big whoop. Of course, the one, th the one important thing about doing that transposition is that if you transpose it once, all the reference numbers change. And when you write the clues, there is a way to specifically link them so it'll always refer to the same one, but we just typed it out. So, if we go back and look, obviously 59, it's obviously ESP is not 59 across anymore. I mean, duh. And that's not 5 down either. If you wanted to automate that being correct all well, when you make the flip, you can, but I never really worried about it too much. Flip it back, and they're all good again. Big surprise. I do not feel like submitting them to the database. Sorry. Display preferences. But yeah. That's it. That's a that's a finished puzzle that I could send to some editor who has an open submission pro platform, and they would say, "Yeah, that's great," or "No, that sucks," or "It's okay." Change some or send it back to me later with some stuff that's different. You know. Let me check one thing. Let me go to my real browser real quick. Because obviously I have a couple of other things. Yes. I think this list might be a little bit out of date. But it's a good idea. It'll give you a good idea of... How, like, why you'd want to really submit to the Times first. So. Pretty much everyone takes 78s. Some people will take a big one, right? So. Word count limits. Themed. Yes, like, you need a theme or you don't. But look, this is already out of date, because we can tell you, like, again, 500 is now what you get for a 15 by 15, if you're a newbie, if you're a newbie to them, and 1,500. So this is out of date, but even so, it's fairly obvious that uh, the Times pays a lot better than everybody else. 
you know, if you look around and like for very specific groups and things, they'll have other lists of quotes, but you get the idea. You really want to try to make it a good enough quality that the Times will want it because everybody else is going to kind of not pay you great. It's uh, not an easy thing, I guess, to make a living off of. Big surprise. But yeah, that's it. We're done with that. I can just kind of screw around, basically. Again, like this, could, if you really wanted, you could do a Sudoku puzzle. Hmm. Autofill. Oh, look. See, if you don't, again, like, if you really don't care, or you don't have anything that you're actually trying to do, you could pretty much automate everything. So, I mean, look, if you wanted to make a... Th that's, again, that's really why they like having themes, is because if you really want... If I really wanted to, I could have a grid done, a themeless grid, 15 by 15, with a max word count of 72, or less... in like no time at all. Use a select the pattern. Autofill at default options. Wow. That was real hard. I think the current record for the least amount of blocks is 17. Let me see if I can pull that up real quick. You know, just kind of get stuff in. Make a good use of time. Yes, privacy barrier is on. Now, if only my mouse worked right anymore. What else? Ah, yes. Just arrange some things to look at. That's good. And I'll show that too. This is nice. Again, this is really, again, I'm just going to show off a couple of other things I know and use as tools sometimes. Let's see, we don't need the map anymore. I show that off. That can go away. Don't save that. Okay, we should be good. And privacy barrier off. All right, so this is the current record holder for the puzzle with the least blocks. So this will give you an idea of like if you're really pushing the limits of stuff. You can there's some other things like uh, passage to India, disputed borders, epistemological, pastoral epistle. The most famous record. And I mean, again, like if you get in the times, people are going to 
stat dork about you. So, as you can see, this gentleman has been submitting for 12 years, had a bunch of collaborations, and so on. This puzzle in particular, 60 words, 17 blocks. That's how it works. Like, if you, if you want to stat dork out, you can stat dork out. This is uh, expertinfo.com, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Uh, the problem is that they would like you to purchase an account. But if you just use an incognito tab, it's not a big deal. I, prom I promise that I will buy an account from them once I have made money on crosswords. At least once ever. Which I have not yet. Uh, we have letter frequencies, which obviously, you know, it's in Sherlo. The usual. You know. Same stuff as always. And again, it changes depending on what your source is. There's the English language in and of itself. There's the Oxford Dictionary. Letters that show up in a sample of just regular reporting. Letters in religious writings. Letters in scientific writings. General fiction. You see some less C's, maybe more W's. Average words, Morse code, Wikipedia. Again, there's some similarities, but again, depending on the, the specific body of text you're using, it'll change. But I have this page bookmarked specifically just because there's frequency as far as the first letter of a word, the second letter of a word, the third letter, and the last letter. All right, more than half of all words end in E, T, D, or S. My buttons are pressed on a keyboard. And again, this is more of a tool for people that are like trying to spy on you and do cryptography things. But again, letter frequency helps if you're trying to think of if I use this word versus this word, when I go further down the road as I'm building this, is it going to be better for me or not? Like, is it good that I'm using the Q here? Will that cause problems for me later? Now, we're lucky that, again, like aqua is a good word because it can accommodate a cue in the second in the second position. There really aren't that many other things that are, can do that and are four letters long. If you had five, you'd probably do like equal. Or, and then if you have like six, you do equate or something. And again, things like scrabble words that people know that don't have a U after the cue would be useful. You know, stuff like that. This one I have bookmarked because these are words which have all different letters. So, obviously, like, it's not a big deal that there's no repeated letters in the word of, but as you get longer and longer and longer, well, it's a little more interesting. So, 12-letter words that have no repeated letters and start with G. Granulocytes. Boring. No, we'll move down to the fours. How about a 10 with W? A whiteboard. No repeated letters. Windbreaks would, but windbreaker would obviously not. Wanderlust. The Times themselves did an actual series about showing how everything is written. And I bookmarked the last one just because it included links to all the previous installments. So this was also very helpful. I mean, just kind of a process of mailing things in. There are the envelopes. How they appraise somebody's submission. And again, this is basically kind of the text version of what we did for the most part. Let's see. Because this one, because again, na, 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 na. resources for instructors, da, 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 Right. This one was the last part where, this was part five. 
So if you look it up, they, they, they had a five part series of each individual section of thinking of the theme, putting things in, putting the grid, setting the grid, filling in a crossword with good entries, clue writing. You get the idea. It's a, it's a good read and also a good window very specifically into the mindset of Will Shorts, who is the main man whose whims you're basically trying to appease. And also his assistant, Joel, with, well, it's Joel. That's his name. It's just Joel. I uh, said so the last thing I have is good, just because it's kind of a, if I have like a word bank of something I'm trying to use. Again, a lot of this stuff is stuff that dramatic can do, but again, having something every everything once in a while is good as a reference. So like, um, yeah, like new dramatic is really really powerful. Like if I wanted again, like the, the example we did last time, I want one or more letters. And then an anagram of the word raisin. And then one or more letters after that. It won't always scramble them, but as long as it's all those letters together in some order. And we get things like drains into. Or the aria singles chart. Or California is... Affairs in. Hmm. I mean, yeah. There's really not much else to it. And again, these are those are technically things that are from regular expressions. And again, like there are a lot. Of, there's a lot of power to this. Like, for example, let's have. Uh, a word that either starts with a vowel or the letters B, V, or Q. Uh, it's four letters long. And it contains Three any three things that are any of the random letters, but also a T in there somewhere. One thing that has to be a T. Huh. It starts with a vowel, four letters long. If we don't want anything where we have phrases, you can include quote marks, quotation marks. There you go. And maybe I want two T's. Oh, look, it's the word I wanted. How wonderful. Uh, but yeah, again, there's a lot of other resources. Like, there's, uh, there's a Wired video that was good. Oh, okay. There's a New Yorker video that was all right. And again, it's, there's a lot of also just kind of getting into the mindset of the people that are already doing this for a living and who are, who this is really their thing. Like they've they've really like went whole hog on this. I mean, again, I'm like a puzzle guy, so I'm slightly not from the same realm. There are a lot of guys who do both things, but for them, it's crosswords and specifically crosswords. They're not really gonna jump over and do the other mystery hunt and puzzle hunt stuff that I do because those are different different set of circumstances, really. But yeah, I mean, we're done. We did it. It's over. It's finished. We have a finished product that if we'd started with a theme that editors would, would have actually wanted, we could start shopping it around and maybe get maybe get 50 bucks in six, six months of emails later. And again, it's it's, it, it, it's, it's interesting. It's kind of difficult to really 
work all the way into a side hustle. And I just realized that on top of everything else, I've had the music muted this entire time. So I'm the only one who's been listening to the Boards of Canada. Oh well. I guess it doesn't really matter. Because uh, for the archive, I was just going to dub it back out anyway. Because I don't feel like dealing with copyright strikes and muted audio. Because it sucks. If you really wanted to listen to what I'm listening to, just do it yourself. Whatever. But yeah, we did it. Good job, team. Hopefully this has at least been mildly informative and or entertaining. As far as a long-form thing. There are other places you could go to find this information, but... Why would you, honestly? Not when you have me. Alright, well... Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do any more streaming for a little while. At least just because I have a whole bunch of crap I should be doing with my time instead, but... Uh, we'll see. I have a couple of ideas of stuff we can do. Maybe pick a new game or something but that's it thank you very much for joining me we have successfully completed what we set out to do it only took us about four hours give or take thank you as always for joining me I appreciate actually having some minor degree of chat engagement for once it's a nice change of pace from screaming into the void. And that's it. Thanks. Good night.